I'm in Sydney by the sea today. Today is Friday, it's Friday. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so I don't really do travel vlogs. I don't know how to really, I, th I thought, what I thought when I left the hotel room to come out here, I thought, I'm just gonna do like a, a travel video thing for Sydney. Um, but I'm not very good at that. I can tell you this, Sydney is about five square kilometers uh, square <laughs> and has a population of about 11,500 people. It's on the north end of the Saanich Peninsula, which I'm looking north, so you're looking south. Victoria is that way. It's about a half hour that way. Ferro Terminal is about five minutes that way. This highway right here is Highway 17. You take that, you take the ferry, it takes you right to Chawasson. So if you'd be so kind as to indulge me and enjoy this tongue-in-cheek tongue video, travel video of Sydney. We'll start here. There are three hotels. One. The other one just over there. Two. There's one by the water. There's lots of places to eat, especially if you like coffee. There's no shortage of coffee shops in Sydney. I thought if I'm going to try and make a travel video, um, I should stop by the Sydney Information Center. But uh, unfortunately, They're sorry they missed us. There's something you gotta know if you come to Sydney. There's two main streets. This one, which comes from the highway, it goes right to the water, which is called Beacon Avenue. The one just over here, one street over, is called Bevan Avenue. Everything is pretty well on Beacon, all the shops. There's a few shops over on Bevan, but all the visitor touristy stuff, it's all right here on Beacon. There's also, Seven Street from the water up to here. They named them very logically Seventh Street. The next one is Sixth Street. The next one is Fifth. You, you get. Casey, did I mention that um, there's lots of coffee shops? Um, that's Canada's favorite coffee shop. It's not my favorite coffee shop. Coffee shop. coffee shop I think that's a coffee shop that's a bistro third street cafe they also sell coffee this one's cafe beacon it's kind of fun this is the Sydney bakery if you ever come down here you should stop in for Maybe a fresh pastry or a pie or something. It's like really good. Oftentimes there's a whole lineup just to get in there. That's pre-COVID. It's true. It's good. Look, another coffee shop. You walk all the way down Beacon, you hit the water. There's a fish market there on the pier in Beacon Park. It appears there's a school scavenger hunt going on. They're excited over a crab. It's a lovely little park. It's not super populated today, but imagine it in the height of summer, people everywhere having a picnic, sitting on the, sitting on the grass, watching maybe a folk musician singing their song up there. It used to happen. This uh, like seawall walk, this is my favorite spot. Bar none in Sydney, this is just it's beautiful in the wintertime. It's beautiful right now in the summer. It's just always beautiful looking out and seeing the islands. It's pretty nice. Of 
course, being so close to the water, you gotta have marinas. And I think there's three big marinas around here. There might be four or five. If you just kind of go around the corner there like that, there's like more marinas on the other. I'm not gonna walk there. But if you live on the water, and it's beautiful like this, you gotta have a boat. Wish I had a boat. I should mention there is also a bookstore. This is a pretty cool bookstore too. Uh, don't get me wrong, the other place, Tanner's is great, but this is like all secondhand books. This is where you can buy your scooters. Um, it is often said that Sydney is the place for the newly wed and the nearly dead. That's old and that's mean. That's not a very nice thing to say. But once upon a time, it used to be pretty true. Sydney has kind of grown a little bit. There's a <laughs> fewer older folk and, and more middle-aged people. I'm going to wrap this up with uh, this non-tour of Sydney, BC in on beautiful Vancouver Island. I'm going to wrap this up with uh, if you come over to, when the world opens up and you can come over to Vancouver Island to visit, you're going to take the ferry, give yourself an extra couple hours before your ferry, take a stroll down Sydney, take a stroll down Beacon Avenue, and uh, maybe grab a coffee, sit down in the water. You can always grab a bite. There's no shortage of places to eat. What a beautiful spot. All right, that's it for me. I gotta go home. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh man, what did I do? Did I just identify myself as middle-aged? That came out wrong. Uh, I'll delete that part. <laughs>